Hey, hello, everybody, and welcome to Uncle Todd for Christ. Thank you for joining me today on Wednesday, July 27th, 2022. It's about 3.15 p.m. Eastern time as I speak. Guys, I hope you are having a blessed day as I am. I'm going to do this video and go out and mow some grass and give God all the glory. Anyway, today's title, Why He's So Special. I hope I know who we're talking about. Why He's So Special in our study scriptures. Is out of the Gospel of John, John chapter 1, 1 through 14. Good stuff. And uh, our lead off verse is John chapter 10, verse 30. And uh, the Word of God says, and this is in quotes, I believe this is our Savior Jesus himself speaking, our Lord. He says, I and the Father, I and the Father are one. Amen. And our devotional today is written by Dave Brannon. He goes on to write, some pretty, good some, some pretty good people have founded religions over the centuries. A religious leader spent a good portion of his life trying to find truth, an admirable quest. Yes. Another religious leader was a teacher and a civil servant who drew up an honor code for his people, a respectable venture. Okay, okay, let's see where this is going. No matter how good any originators of world religions may have been, however, they cannot compare with the founder of Christianity. Here's why. They are all in the category of good men, while Jesus is in a category by himself, the God-man. Jesus alone is Emmanuel, God with us, and that's Matthew chapter 1, verse 23. He's the Savior, that's Luke 2, 11, and the Messiah, John 1, 41. Only Jesus could truthfully assert his equality with his heavenly Father. I and the Father are one, John 10, 30, verse, or lead off verse. Only Jesus' words are divine. His life was the only perfect one. Only Jesus' death and resurrection provide life everlasting. Jesus is unique. He alone is worthy of our worship, adoration, and all. I agree with that. He alone is the perfect man. Yes. The divine one. Yes. The provider of salvation. Yes. Don't settle for anything or anyone less. Praise Jesus. Hallelujah. I, guys, I don't... I don't know what we really need to discuss here today other than how amazing and how awesome Jesus is. We should know that there is, the Bible says that there is no one good, only one, and that's God the Father, which is Jesus. Jesus is fully God, fully man. Um, no man, no man is good. So I'm, I'm going to disagree with the author today, just briefly, where he says uh, these people that founded Christianity are in the category of good men. I disagree with that because the word of God says no one is good. No one, no one, not even the Pope, not your pastor, not your priest. And guys, that's the word of God. That's not mine. I'm not misinterpreting it. It's word for word right there in, in, in the Bible. Um, dear friend of mine, he he got me on the pattern of uh, when somebody asks you how you're doing, most of us will say, I'm doing pretty good. And uh got me in the habit of responding by saying, I am well, because when you say I am good, you're negating what the Bible says. Like I just said that the Bible says, no, no one is good, only one, and that is God. Uh, so if you get in the habit of saying, I am well, that first off that does is that kind of transforms your brain to put Jesus Christ first, knowing that he is the only one that's good. And then over time, it just becomes a habit. You just don't, you don't say I'm good. You just say I'm well. And uh, this is something I encourage you all to try it. It's worked for me. I'm, I praise God that he He said that. It's been a couple of years now. But uh, just these reminders of how Jesus is the one. He's the only one. It's all about Jesus. The entire Bible, this entire life, everything we read, these videos, these, these uh, devotionals, the scriptures, it's all about Jesus. Jesus is the only thing that matters. And we get that mindset, make him first in our lives, make him our best friend, make him divine. Know that he's Emmanuel, the Savior, the Messiah. Guys, we could go on for probably half an hour naming all the names of Jesus in the Bible. And, uh, what I might actually do, I'm going to click a link. I'm going to click a video on here. Uh, 
you see our, our study scriptures is John chapter one. Just read all of John chapter one. It's, it's going to be worth it. John chapter one is good stuff. And our lead off verse is John 10 30. And there's a couple extra scriptures here, but there's a video that I've watched and it's all the names of Jesus throughout scripture. And it's, it's just a powerful one. It's got some music to it. If you feel so inclined to click on it and watch it, I think you'll feel pretty jacked and stoked up and, you know, more in love with Christ by the end of it than uh, what you may already be. But anyway, this is last paragraph. He's unique. He alone is worthy of our worship, adoration, and all. And that's so true, guys. You know, we, we say over and over with these videos that God deserves all the glory. God gets all the glory. So this is pretty simple, just uh, just how awesome and how amazing Jesus is and that we, we're, not, we're not quite perfect like him yet. Not yet. But when he returns, it says we will be just like him. So, guys, just thank you for joining me on this one. Again, I'll put some neat stuff to click on in the description of this video. You know, do what you will with it. But um, until then, thank you for joining me, and we'll see what the Lord has to say tomorrow on Thursday the 28th. Take care. Love you guys.